Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zephyr mod pack. Today we are getting ourselves an ever full urn. But first... Oh. Alright, oh, these were left over from last time. Because you get two of each of the runes. Yeah, okay. For a second there I thought maybe we had forgotten to do something, but nope. Uh, the ever full urn. Uh, requires a little bit of an odd piece of research to get beforehand as a prerequisite. So I figured I would get that on camera as well. Let me just make sure everything is running background so we're not wasting too much time. They are. Alrighty, so. The piece of research that we need to unlock the Everfull Urn is, oddly enough, the Arcane Ear. Not entirely sure why, but that's the case, so, eh. So let's go air here. Ordo here. Modus here. And a lattice here. Easy enough. Okay, now, theoretically, under Thomic Esoterica, somewhere should be the Everfull Urn. Yeah, weirdly enough, there it is. Cool. Found that out in a Reddit post, which is pretty helpful. Apparently I'm out of paper, so let's go get ourselves some more. Stuff I should have checked out to be sure of before the episode, but I didn't, and am now instantly regretting it. Oh well. Been a busy week. A busy, busy week. Alrighty, so... Everfull Urn, let's check it out. So, Aqua, Vacuo, and Prakentine. That's awkward. <laughs> can put Vacuo here. How am I going to get Aqua over to that? Okay, how about this? Why did I think that Aqua was involved in Jellum? It's very clearly not. Wow, I'm kind of stumped on this one. Uh, really stumped here. I think this is my best option. Awkward, but worked. As far as I could tell, that was my best option. What does the ever burn? I don't know that I've ever actually tried that one. Okay, this should be a little easier. Jellum for DTO Vacuo. No, I don't think I can do it in one go again. So awkward. 
Okay. We'll need Centivis to power it. External tank. Huh. Well, I have decided on the way we're going to be creating ourselves an obsidian supply. Centivase is really cheap, especially with the project I have going on with the bees right now. Yeah, that's going to be fantastic. In the meantime, the Everfull Urn is our current objective, so let's get that underway. So I need six bricks, six bricks, six bricks is the bricks that I need. So I need clay and I need iron. Six bricks and nine iron. Seven, nine. And then clay, I need two of you. And then it's as simple as going to the smelter and do some water, I guess. Because that's a thing I need as well. I have clay already stored somewhere. Uh, apparently not. Alright, while you're cooking up, you're probably going to be done by the time I make buckets, but... I go collect the water. Three of you on me. Flower pot. Let's go fill some buckets. As you do. Okay, the fact that there is a cave under here, dark enough to spawn mobs, is slightly nerve wracking. Slightly. We still haven't tested this setup. I think I have a way that we could test it on demand now. I don't really need it, I guess, anymore now that I don't have lightning as my primary affinity. Eh. I'd like to get that back though. So, honestly, having trouble with water is kind of a pain in the butt. Eh, it's a tough decision. Alright, uh, doo -doo -doo. here, 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 right, three, yeah, three between each one, then one between each of these. Perfect symmetry, okay. Then the flower pot in the middle. Alright, now what do we need for aspects? We need 20 aqua. Which it looks like we have. We need four precantatio, which we have exactly. And this is minor instability, so we should be perfectly fine. And we need eight vacuo. How much vacuo do I have? Perfect, then. We'll get our wand that I totally forgot about. And let's get this uh, ball rolling, shall we? Go. And let's put the bill and paper away. Keep ourselves a little organized. The wand is also slightly depleted. Fix that in a second here. All right, let's make sure nothing goes wrong. Cause could be just my luck. There goes the vacuo. Alright, item eating already. And it just takes the water out of the buckets. It does not consume the buckets. That's good. Though I don't really have much use for three buckets. Alright, and we have ourselves an ever full urn. 
just all kinds of convenience. Supposedly you can pipe liquids out of these. So probably a better water producer than that accumul aqueous accumulator we have down on the wall uh, on the first basement. Might consider replacing it, but yeah. Uh, there we go. So now the Petal Apothecary, which I have scanned, uh, is good to go. Alright, let's check up on the bees, see if, yeah, they're good to go. You. And yeah, why not? Let's recharge. All done. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we'll put one in just in case some weird nonsense happens. Go ahead and put some bees in here. Eat up. Because why not? All right, now we have our Everfull urn. The Everburn urn would be fantastic. But I don't have Scent of Ease yet. So, not an option. Uh, Oblivion jars are nice. Thomic replicators are good. Anything else from this mod pack we want? I think so. Not right now, anyway. Uh, there was something I wanted to get in Thomic Horizon, but I don't quite know that we're just on track for it yet. No. So. Alright, so. Should we be taking a break from this mod for a while anyway? So, what I want to focus on next is I'm slowly working on our power supply so we can actually start getting some more advanced machines going. And I think something that would be helpful... Do we have any of the big machine mods now that I'm thinking about it? Uh, thermal... What does thermal dynamic have? Does it have like those those really big Um, energetic infuser, that's good, that's something we might want, but I was thinking like, we don't have jetpacks or anything, do I have jetpacks in this mod pack? Jet, no I do not, okay, so beelining it for Kami is really the only way to f do it, to fly. Oh, uh, or getting really far into Ars Magica. Speaking of which, do we have any skill points to use? I feel like we might. Level 25. No, we don't. How many blue spells do I have left? One. Not many left in the offense tree. Two, three, four, five. What about the what about the more advanced bosses? What about the Earth Guardian? A three by three obsidian platform with a chiseled stone brick at the center. Iron inlay rings. Is that the next one? Definitely not the air guardian. Definitely not the arconic guardian. And I've never fought a life guardian before. So yeah, Earth is definitely next on the list. Uh, 
other than your basement. So, eight pieces of obsidian in a stone chiseled rock. We could try this. And iron inlays. So I do have the obsidian. But I'm not quite sure how to make the chiseled stone. Might be best just to look it up. Uh, looks like just four types of any stone. Oh, one more. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, where would we want to do this? There is a field just over this, uh, past this magical forest we could consider. Ooh, that's another building project too. I could make like a shrine to the Earth Guardian. That would be cool. That one would be have to would have to be far less confined than than the current one for the Water Guardian because, like the book says, they kind of wreck the whole place, which is not great. So, yeah, Vampiric Spider was pricked to death. That's what you get for crawling all up in cactuses. Just gets pain. We could also get into dinosaurs again soon, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. Alright, let's say I pick out this piece of land here. And we go ahead, clear out a fair chunk of it, fair chunk of the grass anyway. There we go. Then, our obsidian, we need some inventory space, I suppose, yes we do. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay, so then we need the iron inlays. Iron inlays. So that's just eight iron around a piece of arcane ash. Not difficult to make. Difficult at all. Okay. Uh, we kind of need to make this twice, so let's go get the stuff. It's glowstone, redstone, netherrack, and stone? Stone. Okay. Pretty cheap. Oh, and we need the iron. Two, three, six, seven, eight. That's it. Oh, I should probably put this extra dirt away as well. There we are. Okay, so let's go make ourselves some arcane ash, as we do. And then we'll make some iron inlays. Then I didn't even look at what the offering had to be. Uh, hold on. Am I getting this right? Let's see if I can get this right off. Just a brief memory. Totally nailed it. Excellent. 
And I didn't grab enough iron. <laughs> of course I didn't. That would be inconsistent with my character. Oh, that was too, too many. We got rid of those too, too many. And now we can make our inlays. Boom. Eight inlay rings. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Back through the portal. I also wanted to do, to do the corrupted earth ritual soon. But I feel like that's a risky play without or not corrupted earth, cursed earth. Uh, that's a risky play without um, the ability to fly. <laughs> Uh, so maybe not today. Uh, let's see, what else do we need for this Earth Guardian? Uh, a blue topaz, an emerald, and a chimerite. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Off of each side on the same level as the inlays, place a Vintium torch. A Vintium Torch. We also need Vintium Torches. Okay. Let me just double check this. Off of each side, on the same level as the inlay rings, place a Vintium Torch. Okay. I think I understand. Hopefully. Hopefully it's as simple as I think it is. It's four. Huh. Alright, let's try this. And theoretically, that should be good to go then. Uh, I don't know that we're ready to do this fight just yet. Although, what could be cool is I leave the portal there. I place the portal up in the tree. We summon the boss, run to the tree, go up there, and then just start shooting lightning from above. I don't know. But uh, we're currently at time for today anyway, so that's going to have to do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.